even better, but even so. We are ready for game number one, guys. Let's hop into the room. Let's see if he can keep Pace safe, who has also hit level two. The stun is going to come in, and Pace in a lot of trouble. The max range handshake gets the job done, and it's first blood for aiming in the bottom lane. Textbook early game here from DK. Use your strong level one. And Lahens is in a lot of trouble here. Might have to flash away from this one. He will commit to it. Will he even live, though? As flash over the wall, the Bertrand's not going to help out in that case, as Canyon is there. And in fact, Lahens survives. So, uh, he did survive there with the bait, or the bailout, rather. Uh, oh, Chobi. So, yeah, you got to try something. Chobi should have known that this was coming in. Now, Fate's call is just all okay. right. Flash for flash. Trading flashes. I suppose that's good for DK. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the end of Kellen. That was your engage, I guess, as now here comes Canyon with the R button. He gets the job done. Well, actually, he gets the job done to himself. Just dies immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, he's going to do it again. Lucid this time flashes on in, and this time it makes sense. Able to get away, but look at this front line. Canyon just being murdered as he goes down quite quickly to the damage of the TF and the Azir. All right, well, we do have a very funny-looking handshake as now Joby just going to sweep him up, but he just dashes away, but over the wall goes Showmaker. Will oh. collect the kill. And now this dragon is quite scary, but he dashes away, actually, as the follow-up does come in here, and the damage from Paze and from Keen is too huge. The range as well. Just going to shell like artillery over there, Tom Kench. Picks up a kill. And now he got this Drake on the way. Genji looking to set up for that. Showmaker. Meanwhile, this time Canyon's going to send it, and you know what? He's kind of alone. As meanwhile, on the top side, Keen just getting on in there. They're going to pick off Kingen as we do have the rumble. This is going to be smited down by Canyon, and yes, he gives his life, but he's giving his life to potentially win the game, and that is totally fine. As the backs once again trying to come out here, we There's do no see Kingen trying to get back into the base as. A bunch of poking is coming down. Toby, meanwhile, is going to go down, though, as the bailout. Oh, no, he did get devoured, actually. As it will be Showmaker who gets taken out. And now Keen is here on the flank. He gives up. Flash over the wall. And Keen is going to take that kill. And you just regroup up in mid. I feel like the crowd is kind of stunned by what has happened here. It didn't feel like a normal game of League of Legends, as Gen G will take game number one. If you don't, this is going to happen in the next two games as well. Yep. Hammer We're Bell just going to beat you over the head with it instead of making a good comp. Uh, guys, let's jump out of the rift. All right. Is he going to go for the play? He does not have flash. Lahenz is so low. But yeah, down he goes. Oh, man, the extension on the creep. And Lahenz will eat a first blood that is given over to Lucid. Now the flash on in, and Keen is not going to respect it. Flashes, tries to get the kill on to King, but it will not happen. A 2v1 it does pan out pretty well for D plus in the top side, as now Kellen is left just to die. And now the equalizer comes down. The exhaust is huge, but Canyon with the three-man stun comes over the top from the top rope and just dunks on them. And there's the cash out for Pace. Jumps in. Uh, Star did make a play at the top. All right, nicely Ooh. done. Perfect alley oop over to the side of Showmaker, who is going to hit the charm after King and sets that one up beautifully. This is the way it goes sometimes. Oh, God. Keen is now the hens is here. Uh, King and remember, he's really low, took two turret shots. He might be able to, to delay it. Lucid on his way with flash and ult. He has a lot of sustain. He oh. is going to make this a bit one sided as the shutdown goes to the rumble. And the hens. Might fight the bullet for this one as now Keen trying to get in here, but the charm is huge. And now Toby shows up and is going to trade one back. Ends up being a two for two. I don't recall any of them, but <laughs> yeah. in this game, he really is being set up for success. King Un? Yeah. Again? Really? Actually hurts. No, I mean the Chemtech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly Ox is just. Uh, Again? It's not trying. As now, Jovi in a bit of a wonky spot, just being solo killed by Kingen. Again? <laughs> really? Oh my god, Kingen on this on Gragas. Him. It was about a year ago as, oh boy. It's the engage cone for Canyon. He gets on in, Kellen. Oh, nice bubble. Maybe going to be able to trade this one back with the TP. And in fact, they will. They're going to give that kill over to Aiming. Desperately needed it. But Hayes did pick up another kill. Going to spot him. And I didn't even notice it. It's like going the opposite way. Either way, now it's Lucid against three. And 
just one cast from King and is not enough. Yes, it does some damage. Oh, the charm gonna hit as well. And now Lucid, he is here on time. Might be traded back by the hands, but no. With Showmaker here, level 12, Go it goes back in. And that's just gonna be a trade of kills. Lahens does pick one up onto Lucid. So it's also like playing this game out as Pays is so hard as. Ooh, Lahens not quite able to sidestep that one. Showmaker has just been. And it will be Showmaker to pick up yet another kill. Four members in the top lane. But yeah, it really is just that. And Showmaker at this point is still incredibly fed, has 10 stacks on a Majize as well. So um, maybe going to catch out Lahens here. He's going to be forced to flash. And he might still go, go down as now the damage is just too much over to the side of Showmaker. And that's just more stacks for him. Already, Chovy is beginning to do some insane amount of damage. Canyon. Uh, just gonna get on in there and try to take out Kellen, but now Canyon just gonna be burst to smithereens by the Ari, who is just owning this game, and now Lucid is left out to dry. That's another kill over the Draven. Coming on in, Toby's like, wait, how are you there already? Uh, yeah, I, I think he's just dead. I mean, you press R, Showmaker's here, there's the charm, and Toby will go down, and 700 gold given over to Showmaker. And he has 22 stacks on this Majais. It's fine, they just poke. All oh, right. just get Toby! Just kill him, but no, the three-man counter-strike comes out from Kennen. Immediately traded back, though. It's now 4v4 in this game, and Showmaker still alive, still doing insane amounts. And should have benefited on even more stacks. He's at 24. Defensive play from Genji, so strong, so hard to crack. Oh, trying to get on in there. They press the R button onto Toby, and they take him out. The damage from the RE just too much. And there it is, a double kill now for Showmaker. As they get it done, that's the engage we were looking for as Showmaker getting very close to the sun is, oh man. Wait, return. Stasis? Oh. Woo -hoo. Just barely. It's fine, he's okay. I don't even know, I don't know what you're asking, <laughs> but no. It's still up in the air, Valdez. I mean, just and, win. And that they will. Oh boy, Showmaker showing up huge here. They on the R. And they end? I mean, they, they should right? be able to, right? Yeah, no, no, they'll, they'll be yeah, able to. Yeah, okay. The Nexus. Jeez. We're fine. You never knew until the Nexus was gone, and there it is. She was able to do the most, especially because Keen was so far behind. And yeah, D plus, they get a lead. That's been pivotal in this series. Let's see if it works out as we hop into the rift here for game number. A play here on a Jovi. This is up by Andari. This is what you do. You get in, you press your R button on the mid laner, and then you dash in and they can't get away. Jovi, he Valkyries, he flashes. It does not matter. For Vi, the amount of extra scale. I mean, maybe he gets a flash? He's really trying for it. Oh, no, what? he's just going to get the kill. OK, you do have to flash, Jovi. Showmaker's <laughs> uh, like, like, surely he doesn't do this. Lance is like, no, 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 I'm doing this. Trust me. And this is an Udir. A lot of damage being done, though, by the side of Keen, and now King is pretty low on the play, and the stacking of the permafrost doesn't even really matter. They just had the damage to get it done. Oh, yeah, you got to dive Pays here. Genji, honestly, is he's tanky. Can he live against three people again? Uh, no, the answer will be again no, as Lahens this time will once again pick up the kill and is now 3-0 on a rumble. On the run as well, and yeah, he's just going to be locked down. Not the disengage cone, okay. Oh. It's a shutdown going to aiming on Zeri. Maybe a bit of a mini Zeri moment there. Yeah, and with the package held now, trying to get in on top of Jovi. The first damage is not there, and Showmaker on the flank trying to take up pace here. They're low. It's pretty close, and with the Zeri, he's going to get the pick off. Showmaker does it again. He lives. Well, well, I say that and it immediately lands. King in, in the front line, he's being burst, and they don't quite get through it. The redemption this time is right on time, but over the wall goes Toby. Gosh, and immediately, oh, he's doing so much damage with that equalizer, and that should be enough as Gen G routing them, but now on the Dragon is aiming. Might be able to finish this off. Wait, can you go in? Uh, yeah, yeah, he just has smite. Okay, I guess that's it. That's just the way the game ends. Elder Drake is taken by Gen G, and the game will end. Aiming doesn't matter if he doesn't have a team to help uh, him out. So, wait, we're, we're 31 uh, seconds in, and they need to push Reverend uh, with five people, though. You gotta imagine that they're gonna be able to. They have I, I don't think they can defend here. I mean, Lucid's a Vi, like he's just gonna be burnt to a crisp. There's Elder Drake. And one by one, 
Uh, yeah, they might be able to get lands here. Maybe. Okay, they do, but yeah. It's, Waves here. They just uh, don't have an Nexus. Do it. That's going to do it. The Elder fight is won by Gen G, and so will the game. It just all went to nothing because of one team fight. Look at the gold difference graph to the Rek'Sai in the top lane. We'll see if it works out for Gen G as we hop into the rift for game number four. Can they actually kill the Urgot here? I mean, the lockdown from the Leash, perhaps, as Redemption also coming in. Not quite fast enough from Lahens. Nice try, though but a good capitalization here from the LeBlanc and the Vi. You can extend those picks. Yeah, he's he's still trying to scale. He, he's not being given many opportunities. Meanwhile, down at the bottom side, Vi and LeBlanc put two and two together once again, and they take out Jovi in the side lane. Um, well, they're gonna try Lucid going for the blue buff. He's immediately gonna be taken away and chopped up by the Urgot. And that's going to be the end of that. That gives a chance now for Gen G to extend this game to take the Drake. Uh oh. Uh oh, Pace. That's a little slowdown. That's the end of the Zeri in just the span of a half a second. Down goes Pace. And now they can group up in mid. They can take out this inhibitor. They can rotate Bob, take out that one. Oh, we are running away. Toby has other ideas, though, as there it is. They are going to take out the Nami, but that's just the Nami. Can they kill Rek'Sai? Nice. Have they overextended? Kingen is dead. And two pickoffs for the side of Gen G with Baron up in 40 seconds. Guys. Yep, got things it. are coming in, and oh god, Toby trying to get so far away, but with three members, they take out Toby. And the pick is successful right before the Baron. Mimic is up in like two seconds. Okay, he's going to hop back and just, just choose to oh! take out Lahens. Okay. The heal from Crit Bloom. <laughs> hey, he's still going to die. Kayan's going to find him. Oh, not the plant. Oh, God. And okay, they finally get it done. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, we're going to try to fight into aiming. Lucid and Showmaker Nexus. and Kingen are just sending it into the Nexus. Is it enough? I'm not so sure. The autos are coming in. The sweep away. And Showmaker so low. And the last couple of autos will get it done. By Gen G. And if I might remind you, two of the members on. Uh... Many wins behind them. Let's see who gets the win here in game number five on the Rift. Really trying to pressure this one as the flash comes in. Immediate cleanse and flash out of aiming. But now we've got Toby and he's up against the wall. Aiming will go down. And Kellen as well. Ooh, he's going to land it. Pace goes down to him. Away from the root as now Toby goes over the wall and now aiming is in a lot of trouble. Gets knocked into the rocks and now Kellen left for the fishes as well. Double kill over to Toby who's making his presence felt in the bottom lane yet again. Caught out on the left side. He's going to wild growth himself and try to run away. Slowed. Slow comes down and he is dead. Flash on in from aiming. He is not messing around. It's Showmaker gets the pick on the pace, but they can't get to the back line. Lucid pretty low as Keen trying to do because Kagan will not go down. Fire taken out aiming. They finally get it done. As Showmaker, he needs to be the carry now, but Toby's in the back line. The damage is being done. But look at Kagan flashing on top of the Talia. Might be able to do it. Keen is going insane mode in that back line himself, and the knockup comes in from Toby. Two, she's going to be grabbed over the wall, and Showmaker out of Showmaker makes the play, gets over the wall, but now he's going to go down. Aiming's alive, though. And once again, we reset. It's 3v3. Massive damage in that back lane. They don't get off the pace, though, as Showmaker stopped in his traps, and he will not get a significant knockup, and now Aiming has to do it 1v4. He might be able to. They might just be able to, and he gets over the wall. They know they're down a member. Man, Gen Z, they, they must feel pretty good about the way things went, all things considered. I mean, you get a Baron, you get another Infernal. Now you've got this wall coming up here, and looking to catch out Lucid, kind of an awkward spot for him. He is going to be 100 to zeroed. And that giant Cassante, nobody can shoot through that to make it through no. and survive. Hayes moving forward. Keen trying to tank up now, just going to assassinate onto the Zeri, but now here comes Kingen, and the flash away is going to do it. Kingen had to flash away in the last fight, and now aiming. He's alive. He's still trying to stay this one, but it's not going to matter. The Nexus goes down, and Genji. Canyon seemed like the most happy. Everybody else was just relieved. They were like, oh, oh, God.